are a few ways to build Leatherface. Now, as of the changes with the hatch being an option at five gens, this is great in terms of you don't have to run Ruin. Let's talk about Leatherface. Leatherface currently has a lot to work with, yeah? If we're going to be talking about a couple of things, let's quickly turn this scene. Leatherface is the only killer who slows down dramatically when using their ability that has an instant injured potential. There are two people with instant injured potentials that, don't, that do slow down to a degree. The Billy slows down while revving, and so does Leatherface. Leatherface, however, suffers a, a larger penalty while slowing down due to the fact that he can get area of effect with his chainsaw and down all four survivors. Good luck, though. All right, let's have a look here at the add-ons. The correct best add-ons I could choose to run on Leatherface are as follows. The Tuning Guide and the Beast Marks. Tuning Guide, Beast Marks. Why are these the best add-ons? This here is going to allow me to rev my chainsaw moderately quicker. It is a 2.5 second chainsaw. Now it goes down. I don't actually know how much moderately is on this. In case you're wondering, it goes slightly, moderately, considerably, tremendously. That is the order, all right? It manages to lower your rev. I'm going to say for, for math or science, I'm taking a stab in the dark, my hypotheses. Let's just say it makes your chainsaw about 2.2 seconds rather than 2.5. Beast marks. Moderately increase the chainsaw movement speed, not to be confused with the rev speed. Let's have a look at barbecue and chili. Tremendously increase the acceleration. The acceleration is while you're revving the chainsaw, yeah? So you don't get that fucking penalty. You're good. You're good to go, right? Looking at this, beast marks means when you let go of the saw, you go faster, yeah? So you rev the saw quicker and you go faster. As long as you're not colliding with walls, can be very lethal. These are the best add-ons you could possibly have. A lot of people be like, no, Goose, you can run Pineapple for a faster chainsaw. You can, but it's not that great. Now, if I was running these add-ons, this would change my build, okay? I'm going to do a build based on no add-ons here for Leatherface. All right. I need something to slow down the game in my favor. I'm a 115% movement speed killer. I cannot phase at 176%. I can't blink across the map. I can't chainsaw 230% across the map without doom or death engravings. I'm slow. 115%, I have a big heartbeat. I have no way to hide my heartbeat from the enemies. This puts me in a really sticky situation, right? Let's think. I can lower my heartbeat to 24 meters with modern abuse, but then I'm sacrificing a slot. Hmm. I can run Tinkerer to remove my heartbeat, then get close to people on Jennies to pull up the chainsaw. Still takes 2.5 seconds to rev the saw without add-ons. Hmm. I need to know where people are. I can run barbecue and chili. Everyone knows Leatherface runs barbecue and chili. So why would we not step out of our comfort zone and run something else? People are going to be getting in and out of lockers thinking you have barbecue and chili. That's going to be wasting time. What could we run in wake of barbecue and chili? We could run Bitter Murmur. However, they need to finish a generator for me to get my bang for my buck out of Bitter Murmur. So Bitter Murmur is kind of like a well done, you've made a mistake. Here's where the survivors are. You don't really want them to complete Jennings. What else we got? We got Distortance. Distortance is going to be situational awareness. It's not a bad choice. We're falling victim to it. Let's think for a second. Survivors are going to think I have barbecue and chili. What could I possibly do to take advantage of this? What perk could I possibly run to take advantage of them knowing that they're going to think I have barbecue and chili? Iron Maiden, correct. Iron Maiden would give me good situational awareness. However, I'm still 115% movement speed and slow with a 32 meter tear radius, and I have to get there in four to five seconds to hit them with an M1. Is it worth it? I don't know. I don't think so. Iron Maiden can work really well on the nurse with barbecue as well. So we're not going to run that. Okay, so we still need something to help us track survivors. All right, let's just think. We've got corrupt intervention, we have surveillance as an option. We have barbecue and chili, which they're going to guess. I'm going to lean towards one more than anything here. All right. I'm going to lean towards distortion. Distortion is going to allow me to know where two people are, right? More targets, multiple chance of finding people. This is good. However, we're still caught in a bit of a sticky situation. What is Leatherface known for? He's known to be a camper, right? He's known to be able to secure a kill. Where does Leatherface normally camp? Where does he normally camp, chat? The basement, absolutely. Okay, so let's think. If only there was a perk to let us know when a survivor went into the basement. If only there was some kind of situational awareness, because I'm Leatherface, I have an instant injure, an instant down that can hit multiple targets. Should I not take advantage of this? I don't want to camp the basement with Insidious, but I want to know when somebody goes into the basement, don't I? This leaves one perk. 
that nobody chooses to run. Territorial imperative. However, let me make this clear. If I see more than three items in my game, I will not run this build. More than three items. If I see two or less, I will. One or less, I will. Just making that very clear. Okay, we still need something to slow down the game. We still need something to help us get through pallet. Okay, I'm not running Tuning Guide. I'm not running Primer Bulb. I'm running no form of enhancement to breaking pallets. If I've got to respect a pallet and pull up my chainsaw, that takes 2.5 seconds. That's a long time. If I'm going to walk into a pallet with Enduring, get stunned, and kick, that takes about 3 seconds. But I'm guaranteed to get the pallet, as opposed to respecting and then going through. Things are looking a bit more Enduring-sided right now. So we're going to put Enduring on here, yeah? We're all about speeding up the game in our favor here. Pallets are very important to get out of the way. All right, this leaves one perk to help us slow down the game. Now, we're pretty slow. We're Leatherface. It's going to take us a while to get from point A to point B. Okay, we could run Ruin. Ruin's like rolling a dice, isn't it? You could get lucky, you could get unlucky. Could last five gens, could last five seconds. What is a good perk to run, which is guaranteed to give me time to get around the map and have situational awareness, which is also going to force the survivors to stack on themselves, provided they want to get a generator work done? What is the best case here? Corrupt intervention, 100% right, right. Corrupt intervention is 100% the correct choice right now in terms of this is going to allow us to know where multiple people are because it's going to stack with distortance. However, let's step back for a second. We're missing one perk. There is one perk missing out of all of this. What is the one perk in Dead by Daylight you can run to enhance your movement speed to counter the fact that Leatherface slows down with a chainsaw? What is the one perk that is missing? Play with your food, correct. Now, a lot of you would go, why would you run play with your food? Okay, play with the food gives me the equivalent of having beast marks. It gives me the exact same benefit and more. It gives me acceleration and gives me the movement speed through it. When you consume the charge of play with your food, you move at that movement speed you're set to move at until the end of the animation. You have one stack, you're moving at 120%, you rev your saw, you go at your maximum speed until you finish that animation. You have three stacks of it, you go, holy fucking shit, you go quick, Chad. You go very, very fast. Why would I want to run Spirit's Fury? I'm uh, not Spirit's Fury. Why would I want to run Play With Your Food? Okay, I walk up to a pallet. The survivor chooses to bait me at the pallet and run another loop. With Play With Your Food, I can walk right up that guy's ass, rev that saw, and down him at almost every single loop before he gets to that loop again, because I'm 120% movement speed. I am 20% faster than him. I do not slow down when I rev my chainsaw. I stay on that guy's ass, and we get to drop him straight away, even without add-ons. This is why I exquisitely tell my chat, Play With Your Food is the best perk on Leatherface as opposed to anyone else. What is the con with Play With Your Food? What is the biggest con? Let's hear it, chat. What is the biggest con with play with your food? You have to find your obsession, correct. Or if you kill your obsession, big mistake. Now, let's just take a step back. Let's tailor this build. Let's tweak this build a little bit. Do I need situational awareness? This is going to help me find my play with your food stack. It's going to help me a lot. If I have a fast movement speed at 120%, do I need enduring? No, because I can respect a pallet and go fucking flying through it, providing I have stacks of play with your food. So right now, me putting this on makes the build incomplete. Okay, so we're going to put on play with your food. The build isn't complete yet. All right. So now, if somebody goes to the basement, I'm going to know. I'm going to get a guaranteed hook trade. Somebody goes to the chest in the basement, I'm going to get a guaranteed hook. This perk allows me to remove one survivor from the game. He's fucking done. He's out. He's in the basement. He's gone. That simple. Because I'm stealing all these jennies at the start, imagine spawning on top of the basement and then seeing the generator sealed in front of you. You're going to be like, oh, the killer's going to be looking around, might vomit on a couple of things. You're going to go straight to the basement and search the chest. I'm going to see that and I'm going to come straight over. You're not going to expect a leather face with corrupt intervention and territorial imperative. How many leather faces have you versed with this perk? I have versed none. I am the only leather face I know that runs this perk and doesn't camp the basement. This is going to guarantee and give me a hit. 
and guaranteed trade in the basement. Borrowed time, doesn't matter. Still going to get the other guy out. There is one play to outplay a Leatherface in the basement to guarantee one injure. There are two lockers at the front of the basement. If you both jump in one, he has to grab one person out. Therefore, one person gets away, one person gets hooked again. That is the only way to not get multiple people down by a Leatherface that at least has, you know, 30% IQ when it comes to playing in the basement, right? So now I've got play with your food. I find my obsession at the pallet. He, he baits it and he runs around. I get one stack out of him. I might just stand there on the corner and do nothing. It's going to take a couple of seconds for me to get two stacks. With play with your food, with a lot of stacks, I'm only going to change. So I'm going to do nothing but chainsaw because I'm going to be moving 130% movement speed. 130. I rev the chainsaw. I do not slow down. I am fucking going. And then imagine if I choose to run Acceleration and Beast Mark, or I'm running Tuning Guide and Primer Ball. This just shows you the power of Leatherface without running those kind of things. However, a lot of people would go, this is a bit of a gambling kind of build, Goose. And you're right, I might not find my obsession at all. This means I need to think ahead. Okay, I can get rid of Corrupt Intervention here and run Enduring. I would not run Enduring if I'm running Play With Your Food. I would take... What perk, chat? If I'm going to respect pallets because I'm so fucking fast, what perk would be the correct perk to take? Spirit Fury is wrong. Okay, Brutal Strength. Brutal Strength would be the correct answer because I will be respecting pallets. Spirit Fury can be cute. Don't get me wrong. It can be. But considering I'll be moving so fast, I will be taking advantage of that with Brutal Strength to be able to get pallets out of the way. If I can't hit the store, I break the pallet instantly and I go straight through at 130% movement speed. It's going to be very devastating and very powerful to have to come in and verse. Right. What am I lacking now? I am lacking something to slow down the game. Okay. I don't have Ruin. I don't have Corrupt Intervention. I would need to find something here to replace. Okay. This is going to give me mass situational awareness, which is going to give me the highest chance of finding my obsession. There is one perk here that we, I would get rid of for corrupt intervention chat. And what is that perk? Okay. Do keep in mind, you need to follow the four basic principles as Leatherface if you choose not to run adults. Some people go, I'm a Leatherface that runs Spirit Fury, Enduring, Bamboozled. Great, man. Do you 4K every game? Probably not. Okay. There's one perk here that needs to get rid of chat. Hey, Shino, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. Okay, that one perk I need to get rid of is all the way on the right hand side of the screen. Right, remember, I told you you want to run this if more than three people don't come in with items. Say more than three people come in, I could replace that with Enduring and then that with Spirit Fury if I wanted to. Or alternatively, I could get rid of this period and then run something to slow down the game in my favor. Now I have bulk situational awareness from Distortance. I can find my obsession to get my stacks. I can speed up the game in my favor and I have something to slow down the game. Now that is a complete perfect Leatherface build. A lot of people do not see the potential in a powerful killer. They go, he slows down with his chainsaw, so he's shit. Yeah, okay, slowing down with your sword does stuff. You can run Tuning Guide, you can run Primer Ball, but this here is what makes a Leatherface dangerous very deadly to have to come in verse. And this is what I choose to run on Leatherface and why I do, right? It has been tweaked a little bit as of the changes uh, with the recent patches. I have uh, edited one or two things. So if you type exclamation point Leatherface in chat, you'll be incorrect with what it says. This is what I choose to run and why I choose